Pineapples, the sweetest and most succulent fruit one can enjoy with every sweet dish. Whether you like to eat pineapples separately or add them to every dessert you make, you might not know how they are grown. Pineapples are mysterious fruits that grow differently than the fruits we usually eat and know about. Then, how are pineapples grown, harvested, and processed to reach you? How do farmers take care of them, nourish them, and then pluck them off to pack them? Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this documentary video, we will uncover how pineapples are grown, harvested, and processed using modern agriculture machines and technology. Let's get started. An interesting fact about pineapples is that they don't have seeds which could be sown into the soil. Rather, like most non-seed crops, pineapples are grown by using the shoots from the older mother plants. In an already growing pineapple crop, the older mother plant bearing new shoots is picked. Then, new shoots are cut off and taken to the new fields, where they will be planted into freshly prepared soil. The mother plants will grow more new shoots and ultimately bring pineapples. However, our journey is with the new shoots which will be planted for the new crop. Pesticides and bactericides are sprayed on these new shoots so they can be healthy until reaching the soil. Next, fields for the new crop are selected and watered well. It should be known that the best quality pineapples only grow in sandy clay soil with extra moisture. Therefore, fields are prepared according to this. After this, plowing is done to make ideal holes and furrows where the shoots can be planted. Then, another machine prepares soil-raised beds where plantings would be planted. Interestingly, unlike any other crop, in the case of pineapple, the fields are prepared well before planting. That's done because pineapple shoots will be planted, which need immediate nutrients to grow. But here raises a problem, since the fields are full of nutrients and water made available for the pineapple crop, weeds might find these fields ideal for growing. Hence, plastic coverings and sheets are spread all over the newly made beds to prevent weeds and conserve water. At the same time, on the other hand, the pineapple shoots are selected according to their size so they can be planted in the same regions. This will help the farmers understand which area of fields will be when bringing the yield. Then, holes are made into the plastic covering, and pineapple shoots are planted well. It should be noted that plastic sheets are not removed because this will expose the fields, and weeds might grow again, absorbing the nutrients the pineapple shoots need. Once all the shoots have been planted, the fields present a spectacular picture. Then starts the irrigation period. Since the farmers had covered the fields with plastic sheets, water could not be given to the fields. Furthermore, the pineapple crop needs water in the form of rain, therefore, a sprinkler system becomes the ideal irrigation mechanism. Once these shoots start to grow, natural ethylene is sprayed over them to induce uniform flowering and growth. Interestingly, the crown of the pineapple works as a collecting duct that takes all water, nutrients, and ethylene gas into the center, thus ensuring maximum absorption. After this, a mixture of nitrogenous, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizers known as NPK fertilizer is added to the fields. Farmers have to do this manually to ensure that the fertilizer reaches the plant roots when absorbed by the soil. Here's a fun fact you should know about. Pineapple is a collection of fruits because it grows from a collection of flowers. These flowers are berries which join together to produce pineapple. That's why pineapple is neither called pine nor apple because it's not a single fruit. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. Now, let's get back to the crop. Once all the fertilizers, nutrients, and water are given to the crop, the whole of the crop is covered with a black screen. This is done to avoid withering of the standing crop and prevent birds from ruining the pineapples. 
Once the whole crop is covered, it presents a magnificent look, as if it has been hidden from the eyes of the beholders. Once these black screens are removed, you will be surprised to see what the crop has brought. It should be noted that when the screens are spread over the crop, pineapples are not visible at that moment. Now, the pineapple crop is left for about 8 to 9 months so that the pineapples can grow under the screen. After about 15 months since the time the farmers had planted, the black screens are removed and the surprise is ready. Heft, large, bright and fresh pineapples are ready to be handpicked. They hang from their crowns. And the farmers gingerly pluck them and place them on the conveyor belt that takes them into the loading trucks. Either the pineapples can be plucked off with crowns or without crowns. Pineapples with crowns are sent to the markets where consumers buy them. However, the pineapples used for further processing are without crowns because they will be peeled, cut, and packed. Machines play a vital role during harvesting because, without these machines, farmers have to carry the weight of the pineapples in their baskets. These machines walk along the farmers, and the pineapples are plucked and placed on the conveyor belts. However, without machines, farmers would have to carry large baskets on their backs and collect pineapples weighing 50 to 70 kilograms. Then, they have to empty those baskets in the trucks to pluck more pineapples, which is quite laborious. Pineapples from these fields are transported to factories where they will be washed and packed as pieces. Or they will be peeled, cut, canned, or used to make juices, which will be packed then. Everything in these factories is done automatically. The manual peeling process can be hard because pineapple skin is tough. Therefore, the machine peels off the pineapples, cuts off the hard middle part, and makes its round slices. At this point, the workers collect these pieces and put them into cans which are vacuum sealed and pasteurized at a higher temperature. That's done to increase the freshness so these pineapples can go to all parts of the world. Even pineapple cubes are also made and packed in cans. Then, these cans are packed together and shipped all across the country and the world. At the same time, the uncut pineapples are washed well and grated according to their size and quality. Since they will be shipped to far off places, the workers have to ensure they stay fresh. For that, a wax bath is given when the pineapple passes on the conveyor belt. This is done so that the pineapple stays moisturized, which, in turn, conserves freshness. At this point, they are grated again and then placed into cardboard boxes. They are labeled, packed, and shipped all across the country then. But what if you want to grow pineapples? All you need is a fresh pineapple with its crown intact. You have to carefully break the crown off of the pineapple and then peel off some of the lower leaves of the crown. That's exactly the young shoot the farmers had taken from the older mother plants. Once you take the crown, you have to put it upside down in the sunlight so that it can get dry. Then, take a water jug and place the crown just on its surface. You can stick some thin sticks into the lower crown section. Then, you would take a planting pot and fill it with soil and some fertilizer as you saw the farmers do. Plant the crown into the pot and wait for it to grow. Then, you have to repeat the same process as the farmers did until you get one freshly grown pineapple. During the growing process, you have to take care of the pineapple, give it enough water, and add some fertilizers as well. Try to do this experiment and see whether you have learned the pineapple growing technique or not. You can shift your pineapple from the pot into your garden and cover it with the screen as the farmers did. Did you know pineapples are harvested this way? Tell us, which of the growing process did you enjoy the most? Did you know earlier that pineapples are not grown using seeds, but younger shoots from the older mother plant? Comment right below in the comment section, do you think pineapple is a single fruit or a collection of many fruits? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.